Hello everyone. In the document by Cardinal Ratzinger regarding the significance of religious and ethical values, he explained that the state is not the source of true admirality and concludes that the Christian faith has proved to be the most universal and rational culture. To dialogue about this topic, I interview four dear friends from the LGBT community via WhatsApp and Messenger. Two are Hispanic and two North Americans. I prefer not to reveal their identities, but focus on their responses regarding the HR5 Equal Act Bill passed by the House on February 25, 2021. I asked them, what do you think about the HR5 Equal Act? In short, this bill prohibits discrimination based on sex, sexual orientation, and gender identity in areas including public accommodation and facilities, education, federal funding, employment, housing, credit, and the jury system. Specifically, the bill defines and include sex, sexual orientation, and gender identity among the prohibited categories of discrimination or segregation. One of my friends replied, I think this bill is a great idea. Prohibiting discrimination based on gender, gender identity, and sexual orientation is a key step toward allowing women and LGBT community people to take their rightful places as equal members of society. As in the case in the other areas of diversity and or discrimination, racial, religious, doing the right thing will benefit society as a whole by allowing formerly discriminated people to participate in society to their fullest. My second friend said, I have always thought that no one we should be discriminated against for anything in this life. We are all worthy of being treated with respect and love. Nothing allows me or any human being to feel or believe others better for any circumstances of life. If we were all measured by the same yardstick, the world would function better than it does now. Do not allow any human being to be criticized in your presence for any physical, political, religious, or gender condition. My third friend added, humans need laws to respect others and the citizen is reduced to avoid mistreatment of others because there is a law that prohibits it. He explained me about this and his long journey he had endured in the 1990s, traveling to places where there were no laws to protect gays such as in South America, Europe, Asia, and Africa, except for South Africa, where he was able to obtain a civil partnership to be legally in the country with his partner. However, in different places, they were denied a simple privilege that straight couples have, like buying a house, obtain a mortgage, accept a good job in another country, or receive compensation for traveling expenses. Once they receive relocation expenses for their cat, but not for his male partner. Must let friends summarize the law with a reflection. Under a nation created by religious beliefs, in particular Christianity, we are all created equal under God's laws. We understand the process of state and religious power separation with one only purpose, 
to let everyone pursue happiness through their own beliefs, in their own special and unique ways, while the government and the church do not intervene in that divine and natural process. What does it mean in our today's society? That we should not indoctrinate or impose any religion, values, or individuals who are not necessarily part of any religious cohort, even the one we embrace. The law of humans are created for humans, and the law of God was given to humans to obey his will. Thus, we all should learn to love one another with all our differences from biological, psychological, sociological, and spiritual perspectives. When we respect and value others' ways of thinking and their divine or natural behavior in terms of their personal beliefs, they we may begin to understand our own purpose to be part of this civilization as it is. There is a long road to walk in terms of embracing human diversity. However, the law itself is a tribute to honor human life and the right to live it fully, widely free, Love one another is the key for peace and prosperity in every society, looking for the well-being of the citizens. We can talk about this topic for hours, but for the limited time of this presentation, I will leave you with these words to reflect. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. They, they are endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thomas Jefferson, 1776, North America. The Declaration of Independence, Second Continent Congress, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What does all men are created equal mean to you? God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness. Genesis 1, 26. This is Marixa Martinez Mejia for the Theology Class 640, presenting the faith in the modern world at Catholic Distance University. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Let's begin to understand and dialogue with one another. Blessings.